Hi and welcome. My name is Ari and I'm going to give you a quick demo of InSinger's Commander Series of Dishwashers. To my left is the InSinger Commander 18.6 High. This model also features a low clearance door. It's a simple pass-through door machine that works in any standard kitchen. The unit is also available in a corner style as well as extra high and standard height models. Contact us more for specific details, drawings, and specifications. As I mentioned before, this model of Commander features a low clearance door. To open it, simply lift the blue handle, extend the door up, and the door will automatically collapse in on itself. There's nothing required of you to do it. To close it, simply pull the handle down. That's it! To open the front door of the machine, to service or clean the unit, it's simple. Just lift the large handle. Just like the other doors, it'll collapse in on itself. There's also a lock here to prevent you from accidentally dropping the door on your hands or hurting yourself. To bring the door back down, simply lift it up, push the lock back, and slowly bring the door down. That's it! So before we get started on how to turn on your machine, let's go over some of the basic components. On the front of your machine, you'll have a large panel. Simply slide it off to access the items underneath it. It's really simple to do. If you need help, you can always call us or ask to speak to your rep or your dealer. So let's go through the first item. The first thing you'll notice will be your drain connection. This will be tied into your floor drain, and your plumber or a certified technician should do this for you to install it. The next item you'll notice is the pump motor. This pushes the wash water inside the cavity of the machine. Again, if you need technical service, please speak to InSinger or speak to a certified technician. To the right is the drain valve. To open up the drain, simply pull it towards you. To close the drain to use it, push it away. This is labeled with this blue sticker right here. Next to this is a built-in booster. This is an option available on the Commander Series. The booster provides the hot 180 degree fresh water to sanitize your dishes at the end of each cycle. Again, do not touch or service this unless it's turned off at the breaker and only have a qualified service technician do this for you. Slightly above is the magnet. This tells the machine whether or not the door is open. If the door is open, the machine won't cycle. This is for safety reasons. If it's closed, the magnet here will allow the machine to complete a circuit and will allow you to start up and do a wash cycle. So let's go ahead and show you how to get going and how to power up and start your machine for the day. So let's go ahead and show you how to start your machine. But first, there's a quick checklist we need to do before we power it on. Let's go through some of those basics. The first thing is to make sure that the wash arms are clean and present. To pull the wash arms out, there's a small hub. Simply unscrew it and pull it out. Make sure that they're clean and make sure that the end caps are on. This will help the machine maintain pressure and make sure that as much water as possible can hit your dishes. If they're not on, make sure you screw them simply by screwing them clockwise to get them tight, counterclockwise to loosen them and clean it. When you're ready, just go ahead and put it back on. Then go ahead and put the locking nut on. Again, do this for the top as well. There's wash arms up here too. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the scrap screens are clean. You want to make sure that there isn't excess food or waste from a previous day still inside the machine. That will mean that you'll wind up with dirty dishes and in fact the wash will be pretty murky. Making sure they're clean is easy. Pull out the scrap screens. This is where all the food waste will wind up while the machine runs. To do so, simply pull this out and wash under a sink or throw it in a trash can. When you're done, simply grab the handle and slide it right back into the front machine. We'll do a close-up for you in a minute so you can see. After that, it's as simple as closing the doors, closing the front door, making sure the drain is closed by pushing it away from you, and then finally hit the power button. That's the big red button. When you turn it on, the machine will begin to automatically fill with water and it will begin to heat. This may take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, so be sure to give us some time. The Commander Series of Dishwashers are Energy Star certified. One of the key green features on this machine is the Rack Aware Sensing System. This prevents the dishwasher from doing a rack of dishes unless it knows that one is present. The Rackware system will automatically wash your dishes for you, and here's how it works. It's very simple. Load up your rack of dishes and simply slide it in. The Rackware system will push this paddle back, which allows the machine to complete a circuit. 
Now the dishwasher knows that a rack is present. To simply start a cycle, just close the door and the machine will begin to run through its normal cycle. Unloading your dishwasher after you've completed a cycle is just as simple as it was to load it. When the machine is ready, the cycle light indicator on the front of the machine will turn off. This means that the dishwasher is ready to be unloaded. To do so, simply lift up the large handle. Remember, there's going to be a lot of hot steam and water that's going to dissipate from the unit. You may want to give it 10 to 15 seconds before you stick your arm in there. Next thing, just go ahead and pull the rack out. One important thing to note is that your dishes will come out of the machine wet. China, glassware, and flatware will flash dry, meaning all the hot water vapor on the surface will dissipate and you'll be left with dry wares. This may take one to two minutes. However, plastics do not flash dry. This may require some hand drying. For best results, be sure to take the rack, leave it in a clean sanitary area, and allow it to air dry for a while, anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Go. Let's go over how to turn off your machine and shut it down for use at the end of each afternoon or each evening. Remember, cleaning out your machine and storing it properly for the night is just as important as starting it up in the morning. It's very simple. Go ahead and turn the power button to off. All the lights should turn off. The second thing you want to do is drain your machine by pulling the drain handle on the front towards you. This will open the drain. Finally, go ahead and put up the doors on the machine. You want to allow the machine to air dry overnight. After all the water has drained out of the machine, you want to go ahead and pull out the scrap screens and throw out all the ex excess food waste that might be on them. There are two scrap screens inside of every Commander dishwasher. Finally, unscrew the wash arms and clean them out. You'll go ahead and pull this off. To clean out the wash arms, simply unscrew the end caps. There's one on either end. If there's light waste, you can just put this on the sink and the tap water should more or less flush it out. If not, and there's heavy grime, use the included brush that came with your machine. If you need another one, just give us a call. We'll be happy to send it to you. Oh. Let's go over some of the lights and the buttons on your control panel. The red button is the power button. To turn your machine on, simply push the red button in. To turn your machine off, just push it a second time. The orange button is the cycle indicator light. This light will tell you when your dish machine is running through its normal wash cycle. When it's not running, this light will be off, and that means it's okay to pull a rack in or out of your dishwasher. The next button is the green button. This is the heavy cycle button. If you have something that needs an extended wash cycle and where it's covered in a lot of grease or heavy waste, push this button in, close the door, and the machine will run in a longer time cycle. To turn them off and go back to the regular cycle, just push it again. The white button located on the top of the machine is the D-Lime Cycle button. Over time, your machine will naturally build up with lime scale. This is a simple natural occurrence. All it is, is the mineral content from your hard water supply beginning to build on the inside of the machine. This means that your heating element won't work as well, and also means your dishwasher will work much harder to clean itself. Cleaning it is done through a deliming cycle, which is just removing the mineral content from the cavity of your machine. To do so is very simple. First, open up the drain and empty out the dirty wash water. After the wash water has gone out, close your drain again. Turn on your machine by hitting the red power button and allow the water to fill up and get hot. I recommend coming back five to 10 minutes later once the machine is filled and your rinse water is hot. When you're ready, go ahead and open up the front door of the machine. Take your deliming chemical solution, open it up, and pour it into the contents of the machine. Go ahead and ask your chemical provider for the right balance between chemical to wash water. They should be able to walk you through it. When you're done, go ahead and close the door. After that, it's as simple as pushing the D-Lime cycle button. 
When you press that button, the machine will go into a constant wash cycle. This means that the machine will continue to wash and wash and wash until you push it a second time to turn it off. Generally, it takes about five to 10 minutes to get off general light lime scale. If you have very heavy water or really heavy levels of lime scale on the inside of the machine, it may take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Again, check with your chemical provider or speak to a service company who can walk you through this. When you're done and you've seen that the contents on the inside of the machine are clean and free of lime scale, simply press the white cycle button off. It's important not to let the pump runner motor run for more than 20 minutes. Doing this could cause the pump motor to wash out. So we recommend you do it for 5 to 10 minutes, then check the contents of the machine. If it's still dirty, do it for another 5 to 10 minutes. Again, repeat as necessary until the machine is dry, but allow the pump motor some time to cool off. When you're all done, make sure that the D-Lime cycle is off, hit the power button to turn off the machine, and drain the contents of the lime solution and the dirty water. When you pull up in the drain, that'll allow all that stuff to leave the machine. When you're ready to go ahead and start a clean cycle of dishes and you want to start washing dishes again, close the drain, turn it back on by hitting the power button, allow it to refill and heat up for about five to 10 minutes, and now you're ready to go. It was that easy. So let's go through the gauges. This gauge right here will show you the wash temperature. It's a digital gauge. The top light will show you when the machine's in the wash cycle. The bottom light will show you what's in the rinse cycle. There are two gauges on the back. The top one here is the final rinse temperature. It's important that it's at a minimum of 180 degrees to ensure that your wares are sanitized. The one next to it is the pressure gauge. Again, see your technical manual or speak to an authorized technician to make sure that the settings are correct on your machine. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Located on the control panel, you'll find a basic sticker. This sticker will show you the model of your unit, the volts, phase, and hertz for the electrical supply, as well as the serial number for your machine. You'll need this if you have any service questions or when contacting InSinger. This will help us help you. Below it, you'll also find the NSF requirements for a rack machine. This will show you the minimum temperatures that you need to make sure that your machine is operating correctly. NSF stands for National Sanitation Foundation, and it's the industry standard for dishwashing. Next to it, you'll also find our contact information. Feel free to give us a call anytime, day or night, holiday or weekend, if you need help operating your machine or if you need technical service. Go. The last important thing to note about the control box for your machine is that this is where the electrical contents are stored. Contactors, fuses, and cam timers are located up here. That being said, it's water resistant but not waterproof. Be sure not to ever hose or put wet rags or wet dishes on top of this. This could cause electrocution or worse, serious damage to you or an end user. There's another important thing to know. Your dishwasher has two hot water supplies. In comparison, your consumer dishwasher just has one supply. It simply fills it up with water, washes your dishes, and then it dumps it out. Your commercial dishwasher on the other hand recirculates wash water. That's what makes it so energy efficient and environmentally friendly. There's two important things to note. This is an electric heating element because this is an electric machine. The heating element feeds into the cavity of the machine and keeps the wash tank at approximately 160 degrees or hotter. The second tank is the booster tank. This is for hot water final rinse. That keeps the water at above 180 degrees. This has a separate heating element which keeps it at that temperature as well. When the machine's running through a wash cycle, it uses the wash tank water. When it hits it with the final rinse fresh water supply, it gets a fresh source from the booster tank right here. On behalf of everyone at InSinger, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy this demonstration of the Commander Series of InSinger dishwashers. If you have any questions, feel free to refer to the technical manual that ships with your machine. It's also available as a free download from our website, InSingerMachine.com, day or night. If you have any other technical questions, feel free to give us a call day or night at 1-800-344-4802. We hope you enjoy your new product and all the best. Thanks so much. If you need parts or more info, check us out on the web at InsingerMachine.com.